What is up, beautiful people? TJ here with another episode of What the F Stop. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Black Magic Pocket Cinema 6K. First, let's get this thing unboxed. Let's get unboxing this Black Magic Pocket Cinema 6K. Ugh. I couldn't find my handy dandy knife. So inside here we have the camera. Let's go ahead and pull it out. There it is folks, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. Um, I did, I was gonna order this from uh, b &H Photo, um, but they were on holiday and the way I am, you know, I want things like right now and they couldn't deliver right now. So I had to order it from Amazon. So I will put a link to it in the uh, description section below. Also the first comment, if you want to check this camera out but it is brand new and we're gonna go ahead and open it up all right so you do get a um a little information pamphlet uh this has a nice little thank you uh message and says that you know you can contact black magic um if you have any issues uh <clears throat> says they have 24 7 operation so that's pretty cool uh, you also have uh, DaVinci Resolve 16, but this is uh, DaVinci Resolve 16, so it's pretty neat as well. Let's see, you get a Black Magic Design strap. I don't think this came with the 4K. Um, I normally don't use a strap, but I may. It's a good option to have. Uh, you also have your power cable which that I've never seen it little dilly dally before it's kind of like a um, a connector that goes on in here and you have a lithium ion battery LP E6 battery now what I've heard from the uh, from people is that this battery is pretty much trash um, but you know it's a video camera it's gonna be bad uh, you have all of your connectors for the different countries. Um, I'm in the United States, so I'll be using the uh, US version of that. So I go ahead and take this out and connect it. Looks like you just connect it on here like that. It just snaps on. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and take this out. piece of foam on here oh and this is it in all of its glory well some of its glory because it's still in this little plastic styrofoam all right and there it is that is the black magic 6k right there it's got that really nice big screen on the back um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get everything set up i'm going to charge it up um, and then we will do um, an in-depth review from a non-filmmaker.
originally I wanted to get the black magic pocket cinema 4k camera um, but as soon as I got my coins together uh, the they announced the black magic pocket cinema camera 6k and I said well I'm gonna get that camera so obviously when the camera first came out it was uh, back ordered and you couldn't get it um, so finally I had an opportunity to purchase it and get it here and I actually got it now so one of the things that kind of scared me away from this camera is because I'm not like a traditional I'm not a filmmaker obviously um, I, I'm just I just do YouTube videos and but I do enjoy uh, making films and I do enjoy taking pictures or, or learning how to do that so if you are an amateur filmmaker uh, like myself don't let this camera scare you off um, because I will tell you that it is one of the easiest cameras that I've ever used in my entire life so I do have a huge array of cameras of course I have the Sony a6300 the Sony a6400 the Sony a7R3 um, which I'm filming on right now and then now I have the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6k so I have a bunch of different cameras that I've used um, also I've got a camera um, T Rebel T6i um, that was my very first camera and you know the only thing that I had issues with with my Sony cameras is I never really got used to the menu um, there's a lot of extra stuff in there if you don't do um, just video if you do photography there's a lot of options in there for photography and um, you know you kind of have to sift through those menus just to get where you want to so that is where in my opinion the black magic pocket cinema uh, camera shines because you can actually um, do exactly what you want with this camera and it doesn't really take a lot of effort um, so the menu and I'm not gonna go through the whole menu or anything like that but this menu is probably one of the best menus that I've ever uh, seen on a camera. I mean, you can just go in here, you can choose, you know, if you want 100 degrees um, rule for your shutter speed, it'll automatically do that by just telling you 180 degrees as opposed to telling you, um, you know, what your shutter speed is versus what your frame rates is that you're um, filming on, it'll automatically do that. Um, also, I mean, you can just go in here, you can choose your ISO, um, you can choose your shutter speed. You can choose your white balance. Um, they have some buttons up here at the top that, that does that for you. It's not that big a deal. Um, you can also go into this menu and you can choose whatever kind of um, resolution that you want. So you can do 6K, 5.7K, uh, 4K, uh, 3.7K, 2.8K, uh, Ultra HD and HD. And they also just did an update, which I have not done yet, um, where you can get a uh, 4K um, with like a 75 frame rate. Um, so it's gonna give you some slow motion in 4K, which is super awesome. So you can choose all those things just with the click of a button. It's not like you have to go through a million uh, menus to get there. Uh, also, if you uh, like to use LUTs or if you know how to use LUTs, um, normally when I shoot with this, I use the B-RAW uh, format. So I have to go through and color rate that way. When this camera first came out, um, the only way that you could work with the B-RAW was actually through Dimension Resolve 16, which you do get for free um, with this, well not for free, but you get it with this uh, camera. Uh, however, they did do an update on uh, with Premiere Pro, so now you can actually work with B-RAW on Premiere Pro. Now, I would like to use Dimension Dim Resolve because what I found is that whenever I'm editing a video, I have a lot more um, tools to use to do color grading, and I, I think I can, I'm really getting better with color grading uh, by using Dimension Resolve versus using using uh, Premiere Pro. Now, if I'm doing a bunch of cuts and edits and you know adding in transitions and different things like that, um, I always have to stick with Premiere Pro because I have all my plugins and different things like that already built into Premiere Pro. Although I do believe that DaVinci Resolve uh, 16 is really, really good for um, creating film um, or creating like short films and different things like that. Originally, when I purchased this camera, I didn't really know exactly how I was gonna be able to utilize this camera. Um, Obviously, I don't have the steadiest of hands. It doesn't have any in-body stabilization, so um, I'm using it with the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens because it is an EF mount um, system, and it really works well with this camera. However, um, neither one of them has any kind of stabilization. Um, so everything that I show you um, in this video is all handheld. I didn't use a gimbal with it. Now, I do have a DJI Ronin S and I'll have to do some tweaks to get this to balance because I do have the small rig cage on it as well as the small rig, uh, some small rig accessories um, to kind of help with my filming, I guess, if you will. Uh, a couple of accessories that I bought was the cage itself. Um, I also bought the uh, the little top 
handle here and it makes it really good for when you're trying to carry it even when you uh, you know you're doing some filming like this or if you're just holding it or if you're getting really low to the ground um, this right here really helps with that um, I also got the uh, small rig um, SSD T5 holder I guess I think it only works with the Samsung T5 don't quote me on that I think it just it only works with that but it allows me to um, record directly to uh, my SSD so I can just pull that bad boy out stick it into my computer and do my editing on that so I'm going to make some more videos about this of course I am going to be shooting with this uh, a lot more especially like getting b-roll and different things like that I'll be using this camera I won't be using it probably for just my normal YouTube videos obviously I'm not going to like go in and like vlog with it because it's ridiculous but I will be shooting a lot of my b-roll sequences um, and different things like that uh, with this camera so if you think you would like a black magic pocket cinema 6k camera I will put the links to everything that I do have including this camera as well as the uh, cage and the handle and this other little thing that holds the SSD I will put all those in the description section below you can get those from Amazon or BH photo I will put both of the links down there um, it, it does help the channel so I appreciate it if you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also, hit that bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I release new videos. I will see you guys on the next one.